In the digital age, where technology connects every aspect of our lives, few inventions are as omnipresent and as perplexing as the humble USB connector. From charging our devices to transferring data between computers, it's an essential tool, yet often a source of frustration. Its various shapes, sizes, and capabilities leave many of us scrambling to find the right cable, wondering why something so universal can be so complicated. With each new device, it seems there's a new kind of connector to learn. Have you ever wondered why there are so many types of USB connectors? To understand this puzzle, we must journey through the history, evolution, and challenges of creating a truly universal standard in an ever-advancing world of technology. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The story begins in the mid-1990s, when technology companies collaborated to solve a growing problem, the chaos of incompatible ports and connectors. The Universal Serial Bus, or USB, was envisioned as a unifying solution, a standard that would replace the multitude of ports with a single, versatile interface. In 1996, the first iteration, USB 1.0, was introduced, offering a standardized plug-and-play solution. It promised simplicity, with a single connector type and a straightforward goal, to connect devices seamlessly. Yet, as technology evolved, so did the demands placed on this universal interface, setting the stage for the proliferation of USB types. Initially, USB seemed like a marvel of simplicity. The rectangular USB Type-A connector became a fixture on computers, powering peripherals like mice, keyboards, and printers. But as the demands for data transfer and power delivery increased, limitations in speed and efficiency emerged. Enter USB 2.0 in 2000, boasting faster transfer rates and backward compatibility. Still, it retained the same Type-A connector. The upgrade was incremental, addressing speed without fundamentally changing the physical form. However, as mobile devices gained prominence, the bulky Type A was ill-suited for compact gadgets. This ushered in the era of new connector types, including the smaller USB mini and micro variants designed to accommodate shrinking devices. The advent of smartphones and other portable electronics accelerated the fragmentation of USB connectors. USB mini and micro quickly became standards for mobile devices, each iteration smaller and more streamlined than the last. At first glance, this seemed logical. Technology was evolving toward miniaturization, and so too were its connectors. However, the proliferation of these types brought new frustrations. Mini USB was soon overshadowed by micro USB, which became the de facto standard for mobile devices for much of the 2010. But while micro USB promised compactness, its design was prone to wear and tear. Consumers began to grumble, why couldn't there be one universal connector that worked across all devices? Enter USB-C, the connector hailed as the future of USB. Introduced in 2014, USB-C aimed to address the chaos created by its predecessors. Sleek, symmetrical, and versatile, USB-C offered a single connector that could handle data transfer, power delivery, and even video output, all at speeds far surpassing previous standards. Its reversible design eliminated the frustration of aligning the plug correctly, a long-standing gripe with Type-A and micro-USB. USB-C also came with the promise of universal compatibility, a bold declaration that this would be the one connector to rule them all. Yet even as USB-C gained traction, its adoption underscored a new layer of complexity. The capabilities of a USB-C connector often depend on the device it's attached to and the cable it's paired with. The proliferation of USB types is driven by the increasing demands for data transfer, power delivery, and device compatibility. Early USB standards focused on basic functions, but as technology advanced, so did the need for faster speeds, high-definition video, and rapid charging. 
This led to a variety of specifications, like USB 3.0, 3.1, and 3.2, each offering enhanced capabilities. However, these improvements have caused confusion among users. A USB-C cable, for instance, might look the same as another, but offer different functionalities, making it easy to mistakenly use the wrong cable for a task. Another factor contributing to the variety of USB connectors is the sheer diversity of devices that rely on them. From laptops and smartphones to gaming consoles and drones, the range of applications demands connectors tailored to specific needs. For instance, USB-C has become standard on newer laptops and flagship smartphones, while USB-A remains prevalent on legacy devices. Meanwhile, niche connectors like mini-USB persist in specialized applications such as cameras and older gadgets. This diversity ensures compatibility across a vast ecosystem of devices, but comes at the cost of user convenience. The dream of a single, universal connector remains tantalizingly out of reach. Despite its challenges, the evolution of USB is a testament to the industry's drive to improve connectivity. USB-C, in particular, represents a significant leap forward. Its ability to deliver up to 240 watts of power and transfer data at lightning-fast speeds has made it indispensable for charging laptops, powering monitors, and even connecting external GPUs. Yet the journey isn't over. As technology continues to evolve, so too will USB. Emerging standards like USB 4 promise even greater capabilities, leveraging the power of Thunderbolt technology to deliver unprecedented speed and versatility. But with these advancements comes the inevitable question, will USB finally achieve its goal of universal simplicity? Or will the proliferation of types continue? In the end, USB's story is one of compromise. Aiming for universality, it struggles to meet the needs of diverse devices and changing demands. The variety of connectors is both frustrating and remarkable, highlighting technology's progress and its ongoing evolution. For consumers, understanding the purpose of each type is key. While the search for a single universal connector continues, USB remains an essential part of our connected world. So, the next time you sift through a drawer full of cables, cursing the incompatibility of one USB with another, take a moment to appreciate the complexity behind this unassuming technology. Each connector tells a story of innovation, adaptation, and the relentless pursuit of progress. USB may not be perfect, but it is a testament to the ingenuity of an industry striving to connect the world, one device at a time. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.